that the endorsement letter although they say you can submit a passport they however give you problems and tell you that you need a permanent resident permit or an south african id so this is my experience What is good to you gang? It is your girl T. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am here with a video. I'm going to be telling you guys the steps of uh, getting a job in South Africa as a foreign physiotherapist or as a foreign graduate who wants to get a job in South Africa as a physiotherapist. I would like to believe that this also applies to any other person that is in the medical field and is planning to relocate to South Africa to start working in South Africa as a medical professional. So I got this um, DM on Instagram where this other girl from Zambia was asking me that how do you get into uh, physiotherapy? How do you get a job as a physiotherapist in South Africa if you graduated in Zambia? So she asked me a few weeks ago just that I it completely slipped my mind. I hope she's still watching. I hope she's she has still been waiting for this video and to any other person who's planning to relocate to south africa who has a medical degree a degree in in the medical field uh this video is for you so anyway talking about instagram guys may i please divert from uh what we're talking about <laughs> i realized that i haven't been actually promoting my instagram account on youtube so anyway guys if you have the instagram please go and follow me on instagram here is my handle um so my instagram is at tanya post at tanya posts so you'll find me at tanya post that is my instagram account so let's get down into this video the first step that you need to do now you have you have your passport i would like to think you have your passport and you want to come to south africa as a physiotherapist or as a medical practitioner First thing that you need to do when you arrive is you need an endorsement letter. You get an endorsement letter at the Department of Health. The Department of Health is situated in Pretoria, which is the capital of South Africa. You go there with uh, the requirements that they have. I'm going to leave links uh, in the description of this video to show you the links that you can go and click to. You can download the, you can download the form of applying for an endorsement letter on um google you go on google google endorsement letter uh south africa for health uh for healthcare or medical practitioners you will find the form you download the form the requirements of what you need to uh apply for the endorsement letter are there so you can actually download the form and apply for an endorsement letter secondly you need to to have your qualifications evaluated by south african qualifications authorities it is also situated in pretoria i think you go there it's called the sakwa sakwa i think they call it sakwa that is the short for the whole word where you have your qualifications evaluated now you have your qualifications evaluated you got your certificate you apply for endorsement letter it comes out now you have to go to hpcsa which is the health professions council of south africa everyone in the medical field everyone who holds a degree in health has to be registered with this board it's the council for us people in health so you now have your sacra certificate you have your endorsement letter you now need to be registered with the board before you start practicing so what do they need at hpcsa so you download your application form to register with uh, HPCSA, there's an application form online. You can go and download it. You go to HPCSA, registering as a foreign um, a healthcare worker. You download the form there. You downloaded your form, you filled in your form. Now you have to submit also the copies of your degree or diploma. And these copies have to be certified by an attorney for them to be considered valid. Your uh, copies are, com are considered not valid if they are only certified by a commissioner of oaths only, then it's considered not valid. It needs to be certified by an attorney. Then you need to submit as well your copies or your original um, academic records or academic transcri transcripts. Oh my God, English. Anyway, 
those are the copies or the originals you need to submit a detailed cv that is written in english to people who come from countries like uh drc here in africa they speak french i, I understand they speak french that side your cv has to be in english it cannot be in french because in south africa we use english okay it might sound like obvious but to some it might not be obvious so i thought i should mention that your cv should be in english you need to provide evidence that you completed your clinical hours clinical hours this is the time where you spent as a student in the hospital or if you actually did work uh, you can provide proof of uh, practicals that you did uh, to actually consider you a professional in this field because you actually completed your practicals uh, or your clinical hours. You need a valid passport or an ID or a permanent resident permit. But for people who are coming from um, another country, coming to South Africa, I doubt you would have an ID or a permanent resident permit um, if you are fresh from your country of origin. So you need, in this case, you need a copy of your passport, a certified copy of your passport. Then you need a recent original certificate of status or otherwise they call it the certificate of good standing this certificate is issued where you are currently practicing as a physiotherapist or as a healthcare professional then last but not least if all this is approved then you are considered eligible to sit down for an examination of course we need you need to be examined just to prove that you know you are on the same standard as the country that uh, you are planning to work in so they make you write an exam since your qualification is from uh, outside of South Africa you need to sit down for an exam these are all the steps that you need to take if you want to start working in South Africa as a healthcare professional or as a physiotherapist uh, so above all that I've said I would just like to share my experience that the endorsement letter although they say you can submit a passport they however give you problems and tell you that you need a permanent resident permit or an South African ID so this is my experience uh you submit your passport and then they decline it so this makes the whole situation complicated because according to how sh things should be you need to submit a copy of your passport but however it is declined uh so i just never understood why and i just thought it's a experience that i have that i need to share with people who are planning to come to south africa as this endorsement letter is very very much important because without the endorsement letter you cannot register with hpcsa and without registration from hpcsa you cannot practice in south africa so this is just a small piece of information that i thought i should share with you guys before we start your process i do not know because this is my personal experience uh, and i graduated in south africa so it's a different experience that I have. But if you're a foreigner coming from another country, then you can start with this process. Maybe a permanent resident uh, permit will not be required from you. Maybe it's just my own personal experience that will not uh, impact uh, your own experience that you have. But over and above it all, this is the process that you need to take when you want to start working in South Africa and you need to follow the steps. I hope this video has helped people who are asking themselves questions that how do I need how do i go around it to work in south africa coming from another country as a qualified healthcare professional anyway if you enjoyed this video and you're coming past this channel for the very first time give this video a thumbs up share the video with your family and friends uh leave your comments down below uh subscribe to my channel and all that youtube stuff anyway guys i'll see you guys in my next video bye